Hi guys, simple techniques here. So if you've recently bought a Ryzen powered laptop and you notice that when you're gaming, especially for long periods, you have been reaching like 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. One way that you can drop the temperatures while gaming for long periods is that you can disable Turbo Boost. Uh, where to find this mode is you need to go to control panel items then you go power options and then you go change plan settings for your current power mode go to change advanced power settings and then look for processor power management so you will see here there's only two options for you one is minimum processor state the other one is maximum processor state okay so what we need to do is to make another option appear which is to disable turbo boost so uh if it's your first time touching this on your ryzen laptop you will not see the turbo boost mode uh, another scenario where you won't see the turbo boost mode is if you updated your windows 11 to 22h2 like for my case i've done this technique before but when i tried to update to 22h2 after completing the update i cannot see Where's the turbo boost mode? So how do we access that? First, we close this up. Okay, we can leave this here. You open your registry editor. Just click yes. Then after this, you'll see H key local machine. Then after this, you go to system. You go control set 001. You go control, then you look for power. After you see power, you go to power settings, and then you find 54533251. So once you see this folder, you just expand it and look for BE. 337238 so you click this one and then you go to attributes you can double click or you can right click and then this value by default is one so you have to change it to two and then click ok after this you can minimize first and go back to power plan or power options then you go to change advanced power settings and then you go to processor power management so from here the third option will appear which is the processor performance boost mode so this will help you disable boost mode okay there are several options here so it depends on you whether which one you would like to try but for me, because I want to keep my machine at a reasonable temperature while playing for long periods. So I choose disabled. So after disabling, you can click apply and click OK. And then you can close this one and proceed to your gaming. So uh, this method will help you keep your temperatures for your CPU to run around 80 degrees to probably 81 or 82 at long periods of time with your graphics card probably reaching about 70 to 75 degrees celsius so hope you find this helpful thank you and see you in the next one bye bye